Number one, unsinkable was never a description that applied to the Titanic. Practically, unsinkable was how the Titanic was described by its builders. It was a bold statement, but not quite as bold as the statements about being unsinkable that films have added to the narrative. Number two, Lusitania and Mauritania of Cunard were always going to be faster, even if it was at the launch the largest object ever to travel on the ocean. The claims that the captain had attempted to break a speed record are unfound. Number three, the Titanic's accommodation were more opulent and roomy. There were several new features in first class, including squash courts, a Turkish bath, a gym, a barber shop, and the first swimming pool, comparable to those on other liners. Even the third class cabins were more affordable and of higher quality. They were, however, more opulent and impressive ships in service at that period. On a commercially successful but competitive route, the Titanic was built to be a large capacity workhorse. Number 4. A depth of 12,600 feet separates us from the Titanic, approximately 370 miles off the Canadian coast of Newfoundland are the Titanic's wreckage, which is roughly 2.5 miles under the water. The ship split in two and a gap of nearly 2,000 feet in the seabed separating the bow and the stern. Number 5. There was a plan for Milton Hershey to board the Titanic for his birth on RMS Titanic. Milton Hershey, the guy of the renowned Hershey Milk Chocolate Bar, sent $300 check. Hershey and his wife did not go on the trip because business came first. Number 6. A certain bacteria is gradually devouring the depress. A rust-eating bacteria will finally consume the entirety of the Titanic at the bottom of the ocean. The rusticles visible on the hull of the wreckage are created by a microbe known as Halomonas, which can stick to steel surfaces. Number 7. About 1 lakh people showed up to watch the ship launch on May 31, 1911 at Belfast. The massive white star line entered the water for the first time, according to estimates. One lakh people, or nearly one third of Belfast population, watched the barely one minute launch. Number 8. The final lunch menu from the Titanic fetched tens of thousands of dollars on September 30, 2015. A private collector paid $88,000 for the final first-class lunch menu from the Titanic in an online auction. The collector overcame the initial limit price by $18,000. Number 9. When the Titanic went down, the SS Californian was nearby. How near the SS Californian was to the Titanic when it collided with the iceberg is still up for debate. Captain Stanley Lord, a Californian, stated that his ship was between 19 and 21 miles away from a damaged vessel. Number 10. The board's hull was slashed by an iceberg by a distance of 300 feet. Titanic Captain Edward Smith believed the ship had grazed over the top of the iceberg. However, he was in for unpleasant shock when he, the crew examined the strike site. The bow was already started to submerge and five compartments had already flooded with water. Number 11. Finding the ship's wreckage required more than seven decades after the Titanic sank roughly 73 years ago. The wreckage was not discovered until 1985 with the aid of a robot submarine. The debris was found by Dr. Robert D. Ballard of the Wurz Hall. Oceanographic Institute in Massachusetts and a group of American and French experts. Number 12. 16,000 artifacts were found at the scene of the wreckage. The Titanic's recovered artifacts are highly sought for. A violin that fetched $1.7 million in 2013 at a British auction house was one of the 16,000 artifacts in the collection. Number 13. John Jacob Astor IV was the wealthiest individual on board. The heir of the Astor family fortune was by far the richest individual on the ship. 
valued an estimated $85 million at the time, or approximately $2 billion today. He died on board on the ship. Number 14. The money from the Titanic movie could be used to build Titanic ships. It is claimed that the Titanic would cost roughly $200 million to build today. James Cameron dramatization of the Titanic made over $2.2 billion globally. Number 15. With the money made from the Titanic movie, Titanic ships may be built. According to estimates, building the Titanic now would set you up back close to $200 million. Over $2.2 billion was made by James Cameron's Titanic adaptation globally, which is nearly enough to pay for the building of 11 new Titanic ships. Number 16. According to new information, the ship's destruction is likely caused by a fire in its hull. According to the documentary Titanic, the new evidence there may have been a fire on board the ship before it sailed, which contributed to the tragedy. According to the journalist Sinan Maloney, the metal had weakened as a result of a fire that was burning inside the ship's hull for three weeks. Before the ship's departure, the fire blazed at temperature of 1800 degrees Fahrenheit. Number 17. The infant that boarded the Titanic was only two months old. The youngest passenger on board and the longest living survivor was Melvina Dean in 2009. She passed away at the age of 97. Three feature films were made about the Titanic. Negulesco's Titanic was made in 1953. Roy Baker's A Night to Remember was made in 1958 and James Cameron's Titanic was made in 1997. Number 18. A lifeboat practice that was scheduled the day of the tragedy was cancelled for reasons that remain a mystery even today. The decision to cancel the practice was taken by Captain Edward Smith. Number 19. Underwater, the robots took almost one lakh pictures of the wreckage. An expedition sent underwater robots to the wreckage and through the use of sonar imaging took more than one lakh photos of the debris. Number 20. Six iceberg warnings were given before the collision. Evidently, the most critical iceberg warning never made it to Captain Edward Smith because of the lack of the prefix MSG, meaning Master Service Gram. The acronym would have required the captain to personally acknowledge the receipt of the message because it did not have the MSG prefix. The senior radio operator did not think the message was important. Number 21. Not even a full minute passed between the iceberg sighting and the collision. Only 37 seconds are said to have elapsed from the time the iceberg was sighted until the Titanic collided with the iceberg. 